Hey guys, it's Boot and NJ. Thanks for joining me. I'm Boot and we're in New Jersey. Today we're going to talk a little bit about DIY juice, do-it-yourself juice. Uh, I got some uh, stuff here, so I'm going to show you how I do a quick throwdown on some juice. So let's get into it. Okay guys, here's my little workspace here. It's a little bit of a mess, but I can manage. Uh, I got, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some propylene glycol. I got a 200 milliliter bottle for four bucks at Vape play.com and uh, also got 200 milliliters of vegetable glycerin for the same price uh, vapeplay.com nicotine uh, I forget what I paid for it I think it was like uh, 12 bucks or something for a 30 milliliter bottle this is 100 uh, percent nicotine so of course it is toxic if you get it on your skin I advise uh, keep a lot of paper towels nearby and um, Use gloves if you're not familiar with this process, uh, just for safety. Uh, I won't because I've done this a few times, and uh, you know I'm pretty proficient at it. Uh, also, I have a bottle of uh, coffee flavoring I got from Mount Baker Vapor that is suspended in a PG base, uh, and you're going to need your empty bottle. Also, you're going to need uh, some syringes. I happen to have here a 5 mil syringe and uh, also in a glass of water for uh, flushing and as you can see there I also have a, an insulin syringe with the uh, needle pulled off. Um, I use that for the nicotine uh, because it's in such a small amount and also the flavoring because it's a small bottle and it's kind of a pain in the ass to get a big syringe into. So I'm just going to find a suitable place to put the camera and I'll go ahead and start mixing the juice and we'll go through the uh, bits and pieces of that. I said I'm going to be using coffee flavor so I'm going to start off with my VG vegetable glycerin and I'm going to go ahead and pop it open and let me just give this uh, syringe here a quick flush. It's going to be a little difficult to see. I know. Get all the water out of it. Okay and I need 7.5 milliliters of vegetable glycerin. So this is a 5 milliliter syringe. So I'm going to go ahead and get it down to 5. Go ahead and put 5 in. Okay, there's 5. And then I'm going to go ahead and put 2.5 in. So go ahead and get that down to about 2.5, which looks good right about there. And bam. That's 7.5 milliliters of vegetable glycerin. Now I'm going to go ahead and flush out my needle, or my syringe here. I, I always want to say a needle, but there's no needle on this. <laughs> it's just a syringe with a uh, blunt, with a, well, not a blunt tip, but... <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and cap the vegetable glycerin, and I'm going to move on to the propylene glycol. Oh yeah. Okay, and go ahead and take the big syringe. And just make sure I get all the water out of it. Give it a couple compressions here. And for this, I'm going to use 4 milliliters. I'm supposed to use 4.05 milliliters, but that's kind of a pain in the ass to get into, like, uh, point hundredths. Yeah, so I'm just going to go with 4. So, bam. Go ahead and pull that plunger up. Looks like I got 5 in there, so I'll squeeze it down a little bit. I got a little air bubble in there, so just above 4. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put that right into my bottle. Bam, done. Big syringe is finished. Go ahead and flush it into the water here. Okay, now put the cap on the PG. Okay, always good to recap your juices because uh, you don't want to spill them. You don't want to accidentally get anything else into it or get it all over the place. That's kind of the, the uh, reason that um, I would say use paper towels because if you get stuff on you or you know like I said with the nicotine it is toxic if you get it on you it could cause uh, health issues um, some kind of a uh, toxic poisoning whatever the case nicotine poisoning uh, so be very careful with your nicotine I am going to go ahead and pull out my little oh, if I can I have big fat fingers in this little tiny cup okay so I've got a insulin syringe which is uh, 0.3 milliliters so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, because I'm only using 
0.45 milliliters of uh, nicotine base. I'm going to go ahead and open this and very carefully I'm going to uh, try to find something to pop this top off. For some reason they give you these nipple tops on here and it's just a pain in the ass with the nicotine because there is no reason that it should be on here. Oh, all right, and it popped off. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take, uh, this is, like I said, it's a 0.3 milliliter, so which comes to like a 0.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, full syringe here of the 0.30. And put that in. And because it's 0.45, I'm going to go ahead and go up to the 15 mark here. There we go. 0.15. Okay. So it's 0.45 milliliters. Okay, so it's like just about a half a mil. Okay, now that that's flushed out, I'm definitely going to go ahead and put the cap on the nicotine base. Um, just get my little, I'm going to put this stupid little drip top on the nicotine base just for safety. So when I cap it, I know it's not going to leak out. Okay, now uh, this bottle is mostly full as you can see here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and the coffee juice, uh, I'm going to put three milliliters into my juice. That's actually 20% flavoring. So as you can see this has a stupid nipple drip tip too. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to do, because it's um, like I said, because it's um, three milliliters I need to find the 30 milliliter tip hole here. Um, so I'm going to do uh, 10 of these, so that's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, I'm getting a little shaky here, <laughs> eight, Ten. So that is three milliliters of um, flavoring. And when you I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in there, I'm going to go ahead and cap my flavoring. Okay. Now looking at the juice, you can see it is separated. Um, the flavoring tends to stay at the top of the PG while the VG uh, stays at the bottom. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a shake. Um, normally what you want to do is put your top back on when you do this. Um, I'm just going to do it without the top so I can, you know, hold on to it and get a good look at it. Okay. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is, uh, there are lots of bubbles suspended in the liquid. And that's a good thing. That means that it is a uh, good thick liquid. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the tip back on. Uh, I'm going to take you out to normal view, show you how it vapes here and we'll go from there. Okay, sorry if it gets a little shaky, I'm doing this by hand. So there is my EA mod with, uh, I've got a point, uh, 0.4 ohm coil on there, so I'm sub-ohming. Got a little bit of uh, 
cotton wick and I'm gonna go ahead and show you my juice here now you see how it cleared up there was a lot of bubbles in there before there's still a little bit of sediment and bubbles um, suspended in the juice but it's right where it needs to be so I'm gonna go ahead and wet my wick here I might get a little bit crazy but I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a really good amount of juice here it's probably gonna get everywhere but I don't really care Oh yeah, I'm going to get juice all over this mod, and it's just going to be disastrously uh, like juicy. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, line up my uh, air hole with the coil. Okay, and I'm going to take a couple hits off this. That's a regular mode. I'm going to take a couple hits off this, and uh, this is the coffee juice, and see how it vapes. Mm. Lots of vapor. Um, really coffee. <laughs> uh, really good coffee flavor. The vapor production is really good on it. Uh, it's a 50 50 juice. Like I said, 20% flavoring. Um, oh. On a uh, sub ohm coil, this is just very good. Uh, if you like coffee, this is definitely a great little uh, uh, setup of flavor. Um, Alright, so uh, yeah, that's my DIY juice. Um, that's coffee. I got some other flavors here, so I'm just going to keep on plugging away. And uh, I definitely suggest it. I would say that I probably spent about 45 bucks um, just, you know, in supplies. Um, I went to vapeplay.com for my uh, PGVG nicotine and uh, giant 5 mil syringe. Um, <clears throat> you can also get um, flavorings at uh, other websites. I'm not entirely sure what other websites you will get your flavoring at or your particular to. I got mine from mountbakervapor.com and uh, that's where I used to get my juice from. Now that's where I'm getting my flavorings from. Um, I've made a few flavorings to get to this point. This is probably the fifth bottle I've made um, but I wanted to uh, perfect it a little bit before I went ahead and shot a video. So I'm just going to leave you with that. Uh, thanks for joining me and uh, make your own juice man. It's a hell of a lot cheaper. And uh, let's keep on vaping.